you can just pick up whenever you get in and let me know. Oh my god, those borders, man. Whoa. All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is the finals of the Four Players Liga, League of Legends Dominion Tournament on the Europe West server. Uh, this is going to be Real Terror versus Tie Boy incoming uh, for this game. Now, this is a best of one finals. The Europe server works a little bit differently than the North America server tournaments. Different rules, different procedures, so the finals can be best of one. Over here on the top half of the map, we have the team Real Terror. We have Anastara playing as Rise, Cillian playing as Leona, Hardware playing as Nunu, Exceptions playing as Wukong, and Scrubix playing as Cassadin. And this is the last tournament game that I'm going to cast for you guys until April, so we're going to hype this one up a little bit. I'm one half of your casters, I am Gander of the gaming clan, Vato clan, and with me is... Captain Booberry, member of Team Pax on the NA servers. And who do we and, have on the other team there? Uh, we have Masquerade Eblin, very strong kite. We have uh, Janna, very annoying on tower. Very annoying, hard to get off. Kha'Zix is a uh, top three champions, really powerful, big burst, massive resets. Pantheon just shows up when you don't want him to and just overall really good strong early mid game champ and diana bot lane dominus arts seen some his stream does really well bot lane all right and strubix has asked me to get hype when he gets a kill so uh you might just have me randomly yelling things about cassidin um i will throw random things at you about situations and try and give you lead-ins and stuff for some of the commentary a little bit, because you know a little bit more about things than I do, like, um, like, I'm looking at the starting item stuff and seems too out of the ordinary there, Jan is like straight up support, I mean, she's got the total biscuit right there, and seen a Kindle gem opening on Leona, no boots, Catalyst first on Rise. Everything looks pretty standard. What's up with the uh, Emblem of Valor on Janna? Is, is that anything special? Uh, I suppose you could maybe do it for sustain, but you gotta be sure not to get picked off fast. It's definitely interesting. The graphic for Kasten's Netherblade is pretty cool. This might turn into the Scrubix feature film, I don't know. You got Cast and Cods in the same game, so it's like they traded OPs with each other. Yeah, it's something that we're trying to do now is, you know, trade one OP for another OP and it bounces each other out. A little bit of poke back and forth up at the top, literally back and forth between Rise and Pantheon. Rise gets stunned right there, Scrub with the damage, trying to cap right there. And it's a little bit of a click war going on. Now, at the top of the map here, what do you look for as your reason to- Oh, Janna, you don't have any health anymore, and Bone Crusher, you're exhausted, so that's not very good. And Cillian's just kind of hanging back and capping. Scrubix is dead! Scrubix is dead, that's very unfortunate. Team Morale going through the floor, because Scrubix is no longer alive. Yeah, when you go top lane, you want to see which team has the better poke. If you don't have the better poke, you just need to straight up engage when your fourth guy gets there. And it seems like, uh... Whatever Evelyn's team is, they they don't they didn't have the better poke, so they need to engage right away. They got engaged on, and they got uh, beat. Hardware cannot survive against two people. It's two space aliens, one Yeti, one neutral tower. So Tybo Income is going to pull off that neutral great gank down there by Neo Style. Very very clean. Just came straight in, took him out. Dominus Arts now uh, in control of that tower. We'll see how long he can hang on to that, because he does like to, uh, he does like to sit on his towers a little. There's a pause again! What was it this time? Rosgasm, man! Look, in the last tournament on NA, last week, or not last week, but yesterday, all five games had a technical error. Here on Europe West Day, two games with issues. So, yeah. seven out of eight games in two days. Yeah, I actually had problems in all three of my games I played yesterday. Like, I had times where my guy wouldn't react the way I wanted him to, like, and sometimes it takes two seconds to get a spell off. So, I don't know what's up with the client, but I hope it gets fixed soon. Alright. Yeah, everybody was complaining about it on our team, and other people have been complaining about various issues with the client, 
but what can you expect with a season three patch? I mean, there are always going to be something wrong. Oh, my bind didn't work. Huh. Where is it? Come on, I split. Do it. Okay, let me know if that fixed it. I, ha I can't tab over right now. Someone was talking about the uh, screen being uh, covered, and um, I have key bindings, but apparently it didn't work. Oh, so, okay. if it's fixed now, I actually can't read the chat, so I don't know. But there will be a recording to be able to watch later, so don't worry about it. You won't miss anything. Celia getting chased now. Inception's is over there. It's Pichu Nino style. So going to head out a little bit, and Celia and Celia's running oh, away. Kazix can get Leona if he has his job. You know, unfortunately, he didn't didn't have it quite available, or she was out of range. Doesn't look like he has the evolved leap going on yet, so he can't quite cover that gap. Uh, in spectator mode, you can click dudes instead of cooldowns. I don't know if you knew about that or not. So with them being pushed all the way to the, to the refinery like that, it opens them up the windmill. Rise trying to back cap over at the drill there. Pantheon up and Pantheon down. Pantheon free withdrawal from the minion bank. Picking up 240 gold from that minion kill right there. That's pretty awesome. It's more than a champ kill, actually. Connect with spear shot here. Rise is getting chased down. Oh, Ooh, Janna picking up the kill, actually. Neo style in the bottom lane, trying to defend there, not quite able to do so. Jan's gonna retake the drill in the middle of the map. Scrubix, 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 you got interrupted by an Eve, man. You can do better than that. Come on, take that storm shield. Don't let her bully you. You're Cassidy, man. You're OP. Yeah, purple team needs to just take a second, get everybody regrouped. They have a storm shield advantage too, so you're gonna have to engage it very wisely. We have creeps being pushed up onto the top right now. Pantheon cutting around from the behind here. Minions gonna be pushed up onto the tower. It's the moment here. Scrubex. Scrubex, that damage, man. I put out a little bit more. I want to get some kills. There's the airborne off by Wukong. Wukong gets kicked out immediately by Jin. A nice move right there. Limiting that damage a little bit. And Kasten has begun the rift walk. Kasten had killed Janna! That's one kill right there. Come on, Scrubex. Where's the other kill at? Can we get another one? Nope. Nope, that's not a kill. There's a double kill! Scrubix knows how to kill multiple people at the same time, taking down Evelyn as well. And he's gonna go for a third kill. Can we see Grieve Cassidy? Nope. Inception. That was a very uh, well played fight by Cassidy. He stayed out of range and they blinked in when he had to. That's why he's a very annoying champ to deal with. Yeah, he can be in a fight, out of a fight. He can suddenly be there or disappear. And it seems like that is... That's how you play a couple of the more powerful champs in this game mode. Uh, Eve and... Eve, Kha'Zix, Cass, and they also play a little bit the same way. Sort of that opportunistic style. Get in and out of the fight, wait for cooldowns, re-engage, repeat. Inception's over the wall right there. Leona falling up with a stun on Angash. Uh, and... Bone Crusher getting caught out there. Cass and Rift walking up. Cass is gonna take out Evelyn! Free Evelyn for the Cassidan. Maybe not so free because she was being chased, but whatever. Cassidan got a kill. Every time Cassidan gets a kill, another complaint thread is posted on the forums. Yeah, Cassidan actually went back and got back up to the top lane to get up to that fight. He's the most mo mobile champ, and he's hard to he's hard to figure out where he is because he's just everywhere. It's PG Neo style in the bottom. Down here, hardware is hanging out. So, Diana versus New bottom lane. I'm gonna ask you about that next time. There's a free second here. Uh, Hongdos getting caught again. Kasten, oh, come on, Scrubix, come on, pick up that kill, man. Gotta pick up that kill. Scrubix doesn't want enough. Confirmed for Tripe. Europe server, Scrubix. The style of goods not confirmed for Tripe anymore. Scrubix has replaced him. Alright, so what's up with this new new Diana thing down here on the bottom? How does that matchup work out? Because it seems like Dominus Arts has been able to push hardware back two times this game so far. Scrubbix coming down to the bottom here! Dominus Arts, I'm scared for you, man. That is a Cassidy. Ooh, that damn. Oh, kiting him right into... Very nice, indeed. Yep. Great play right there. Both teams coming down to the bottom right here right now. There's kind of a little bit of a slugfest going on. Solar Flare does go down, catches the people slow. Roscasm connects with the ultimate there for a little bit of cooling on his allies there. But, unfortunately, um, people are still going down. Uh, 
killed right there, and Eve going as well. Thomas starts getting really, really low on health, and does have the Lunar Rush available. Could burn that to try and get out, potentially, but not going to, unfortunately. Neo Style now getting chased. Got that slow on him from the Snowball there. Going to try and leap over the opposite direction. And Black Cup by the Zenith Blade getting taken down. Nunu picking up the triple kill right there. And while no one was looking, Cassidy, top lane. Strubix has found a tower and is playing it as his own. Yeah, since no one was caught, the mini wave was pushed on for purple side and was able to nude it. If they can get up here and maybe uh, 3v1 Cassidy before those other three get out there, they might be able to win this fight. I'm pretty sure he's just going to fling through the wall, though. Yeah. Yep. Kasten does not believe in walls there. Only the suggestion, Scrubix is too powerful to be stopped by any wall. So he just keeps on going. He does have a little bit of an issue with tornadoes there. Whoop, Kazik. Coming in from the back, engaging on Inceptions. But Inceptions was able to get away just barely right there after Neo Styles Kazakhs had jumped in like that. And Star and now catching Bone Crusher for a little bit deep as there as well. And might be able to take him down. Cassidy and picking up the kill. Scrubix doesn't believe in letting his allies get kills. Scrubix takes all the kills. But down the bottom lane, we got Zillion. And he's not going to be able to get out of that, though, I don't think. Rolling might make it just barely there. Hardware body blocking him a little bit there. Domus Arts comes back. Bone Crusher with a follow up stun to take him down. Zillion retreating now. They have the point captured. Minions were able to pick that up while that was going on. Cassion can kill him if he gets another spear. And he's looking for it. That cooldown. There yes. we go. Oh, Catherine's waiting in the bush. Catches him with the Null Sphere. Rift walks straight into him right there. Rise locks him down. And Scrubix, man, you're supposed to get that kill. Don't let Rise take your kills, dude. Very nice gang by Catherine. If you uh, have three towers, get in the jungle. Find them. Nope. Can't gank Catherine. He just leaves. Saw that Neo Star. Uh oh, trying to close in. Might be able to. Yes, gonna pick him off. Now, I feel like, of all the champions, Kha'Zix is a very good one to use against Kastin. Uh oh we got a Pantheon yeah. coming down from the top right here, gonna land right in on that fight. Good damage from the Grand Skyfall, you don't see the damage from that happen too, too often. Inception's getting chased away now. Neo Style seems like he's got this under control. Looks like it's just gonna be one. No! Oh! Oh! Inceptions! Look at that! Did you see that? It's still right through the vision, gets into the Fog of War, pops the recall immediately to get out of there. That wow. was that was the play. All right, so back to um, the Kha'Zix castle. Then Zillion's gonna try and defend the bottom point down here. But why is Kha'Zix so good against Kha'Zix? It seems. Uh, Kha'Zix can close the gap on. I mean, Kha'Zix can cl close the gap on Kha'Zix, and they just burst the crap out of each other. I see. So it's just because the, he's got the uh, distance to be able to make it. Yeah. Uh, both champs, they have great mobility, and it, it once, uh, you know, they, they close the gap, no, their mobility is useless. Inceptions now get a little bit low on health. Dominus Arts and Bone Crusher beat him up a little bit. Neo Style over the wall, gonna take him down. Nope, yep, gets him with the Spine Banks, thankfully. Able to pick up that. Going in for hardware next. Kha'Zix just stopping Kha'Zix people. getting resets. Very scary those repeat jumps on him and he can dismantle your team pick up the triple kill right there gonna take this bottom point SPG Neo style making up for games two weeks ago where he died to minions as LeBlanc now he just doesn't care about anything and is making everybody die as Kha'Zix so Scrubix coming around from the back Scrubix you can do it there you go he got that interruption just by showing himself there Kha'Zix was like actually you know what I don't wanna don't want to deal with that. Sometimes your presence alone is enough to deter someone from trying to capture a point. Tie Boy has got three points right now. Real Terror only has two. They're trying to even it up. Scrubix and Inceptions up at the top. Trying to deal with Bone Crusher up there. Scrubix hanging back. They need to focus target here. Down the bottom lane, a Solar Flare only connects with Eve, unfortunately. Absolute Zero being channeled does a nice amount of damage. That's been style, though. And Dominus Arts really sticking to Anastasia up there. 
and SP Juno is barely getting away with not very much health left. Inception's just coming down here. Is this one cyclone away from disaster? No, he still has a few seconds left on the cooldown, so he wasn't able to go in and sweep that fight. Cillian keeping Eve away from the point, so Inception's Ooh, can cap. Ooh, that Leona explosion. So close. Well, Janna's doing a pooters over here. I think she's gonna get it. And just barely, yes, Rise was still about six seconds off from being able to get there, and now the map looks a little weird. There's two points over here, one on the other side of the map, and the windmill and the other blue point are across from each other. Kha'Zix picking up the godlike right there on Kasten Scrubix. That's not how you play Kasten. Kasten involves you being alive and killing people. How do you do it, man? Pressure yeah, buttons harder. You need an end game build, which means he can kill two people by himself if you're not, if you're not careful. So why stick with the boots one for so long, Kha'Zix, anyway? Kha'Zix has great mobility to close his, the gap, so he just needs damage to finish his targets. Gotcha. And now catching Hysteria out on the uh, side right there. Him circling around away from Kha'Zix, though, Neo style, they know who they need to kill, and they are able to get him finally pick up the shutdown on Kha'Zix, uh, Pantheon, and Janna falling back to the top tower. Uh, they got Rise and Wukong here, and that Moon Prison is not to be trifled with, catching Rosgasm with it right there, can buy time for Inceptus to close in, drop that damage right there. Rosgasm goes down, and now it's Bone Crusher off the oh, point, Kaz though. Oh, get a triple here. Let's see if he's able to pull it off. Kill on Inceptions there. Now he's gonna try and take out Cillian. Nope, he's gonna turn around, throw the damage on those minions, try and get them cleared up. Minions will neutral towers if you're not paying attention. Oh, Janna might be cut out here. And she does get picked up by the Rune Prison. Runs oh, away. The Ooh! Flare. That Solar uh. Flare, very well led. Keeps Inceptions there, and going over the wall, Cassidy gets the revenge kill on Kha'Zix. Proving that he is the K champ worth picking right now. We'll see if Kha'Zix can take back his title later on in the game. In the bottom lane, though, a three man gank is able to unseat Hardware's Nunu. Defensive garrison drop by Cillian right there is going to save the tower for a little while. There's not a lot of capture left on it before it goes neutral. Cillian really working on it, but not able to pick it up. Unfortunately, Strubix now comes down to try and help out, but, you know, he's, he's very jousting. Dependent. He has to get in and out of fights, he has to hang back. He can't really stay to deliver against that many people, especially when you have the CC from Diana and from Pantheon down there bottom lane. Another Solar Flare goes down, good stun on Dominus Arts right there, and Star is able to catch Hongdok, and Neo Style comes into the fight right here. Hongdok with the shield to keep him alive oh, a little bit longer. Nice. Nope. Nunu with the snowball, able to pick Eve off, and now Hardware being chased away, and just Neo Style showing up on this fight really helped turn it around. That was a very, uh, good Kazakh's play right there once again. He saw that, that engage man, you know, coming right into that fight there. Things looked a little icky. Eve had to leave, so they lost DPS due to that. Dominus, Arts, and Hardware are bottom laners on the top end of the map, which is a little strange. Neo style hates Nunu. Jump in, jump out, ban your Kazakh's next time. Strubix is giving chase to him right there. He's got the quick walk going on, and he does get stunned and CC. Lots of bad things happen to him at once. He has to defensively rip walk out of there, gets exhausted. All of the damage on Kha'Zix at once. Yeah, that was kind of unfortunate for Cassidy to get caught into. Yeah, that's really one of the few ways that you can actually handle him, though, is just by stacking a bunch of hard CC on him in a row, right? Yeah, you have to stun him about three times to kill him. And between the combination of Pantheon and uh, what did they have up there, they had Pantheon there. They had uh, no, they just actually just unload on with a lot of damage. They had two CCs on. So they uh, oh, but they his had uh, was down the beginning too. Zypher as well. Oh, she hit the ult there. Uh, Zypher is the thing that slows Cassidy, so even though he blinked, he would still be able to oh, get caught up too. That's the bird slow. Okay, gotcha. And they did throw an exhaust on him too as he was leaving the fight. So they did a lot of CC on him. Neo Style's trying to defend this by himself. Pantheon shows up, Strubix blinks out, Rosgasm from the back, and a, no, not connect the airborne on hardware, unfortunately. 
So Hardware is going to be able to get back away. Neo Style is chasing Scrubix now. And Scrubix, I can't hype you up if you're dying, man. I'm so sad. Yeah, Kazix is one of three champions I know that can keep up with Kassadin, and it makes Kassadin feel normal, less uh, less powerful when you can just stay with him. What are the other two? Uh, Leona can stay with Kassadin, and Annie to an extent. Not Amumu? Uh, Amumu can, but he can usually blink after a bandage toss, but if you go in with a bandage toss and ult, you know, Amumu's damage, you know, I don't know if you can kill Kassadin with Amumu, but... Neo Style's right on the other side of the wall, this could get ugly right there. Goes in right for Kha'Zix right away, forces Kha'Zix back out of the fight. Although Inceptions did do a ton of damage to Dama's Arts and uh, Hongdox there. And now, oh, Scrubbix, your health is so low, dude, did you get that health out either way? No! Not denied. It doesn't matter how good your gummy candy health relic tastes. He's gonna get in, try and defend the point right there, but the minions are gonna pull off the neutral lot, so he loses the defense advantage, has to rift walk out, and they're more interested in the tower than him, it seems like. Hardware appears. I don't like Nunu, apparently. Top end of the map, Ross gets him trying to defend by himself, but against Cillian's Leona and a rise. It's a lot of CC there, but Cillian just standing in that tower taking basically more and more and more damage as it goes on. Not so good. Ross guys him. Oh, Ross guys have got the shield right there. And Inception, is he gonna steal this? Yeah, all that work that Cillian had put in on Janna. Down in the bot, Diana had double digit health, and as the snowball was flying toward him, uh, he put on a shield and they blip, which is no health, no wow. health at all. And then uh, Kazix cleaned up Nunu, unfortunately. Ka Kazix is. I almost called him Kazix. Kazix has just been scary all game long here. Neo Style has been playing him pretty damn well. Middle of the map, Scrubix getting caught again, having to retreat there. And now Inception's having to retreat as well. Lots of damage being put out. Scrubix is kind of just trying to hang around and maintain his presence there, but they just don't seem to care too much, unfortunately. There's the Twin Shadow. Twin Shadow is such a cool item. Uh, I, I personally don't like it, but, you know, to, to each their own. Well, I didn't say it was good, I said it was cool. It's yeah, that's cool. cool. Ghosts. I don't think it's going to be top tier at all, though. We got the reveal right there, so he doesn't get that stealth, but I mean, she's in combat anyway. Although all the vision always helps. Scrubbix, your health is dangerously low, but your rift walk is dangerously effective. As she's able oh. to get away from Oh, that, that Janna didn't even know he pushed Wukong. A little bonus for the push. That was, that's going to be a safety clip for the VOD later. Hey, see what you just did? Bone Crush living for a little right there. Kha'Zix picks up the godlike down the bottom lane. Him and Diana taking down Nunu there. Kasten came up and tried to get around behind this windmill and take it back while he was low on health. But unfortunately, the fight had gone up that way. Now Bone Crusher is there, and Kasten at this point is kind of allergic to stuns. He gets hit with one, it could be bad news there. Inception's just trying to finish off Eve, but Dominus Arch comes up from the bottom and takes him down. Oh, Eve just walked and then Kazan and point blanked him. <laughs> right, bottom lane, looks like they're gonna get that point back. No problem. Kazix has recalled and gone back. And all Thai Boys gotta do is they just gotta hold on this for a little bit. Yeah, uh, blue team has one more chance at best, so they just gotta wait for Kazan and the revive and hope they get a decent fight. Yep, well Janna's recalling though. Yeah, Wukong and crew over here, but in the bottom lane, though, not with that bottom lane pressure, I don't think. Because Panthon's gonna go up and deal with Wukong. They had two people down here in the bottom lane there. I don't think, unless Wukong gets some sort of miraculous thing up top. Nope, not with Janna right behind either. I think Tyboy's has got this pretty solidly now. Yeah, it would be really tough for Blue Team to uh, get a cap here. I mean, Janna and Pantheon are just unseatable up there. Especially with Wukong falling back away from the tower, he wouldn't be able to speed up anyway. Strubix using the time stop right there. Is he going to get the kill on Neo Style? No! Couldn't even kill him at the end of the game. Strubix, I'm so sad for you, man. MVP SPG Neo Style making up for a somewhat awful LeBlanc two weeks ago with an absolutely amazing Kha'Zix. But the point goes neutral. Faked oh. you out, guys.
Give it a second. I had to give you another second for your last week. There we go. Thank you very much, Real Terror, for buying me the extra time behind the mic. I'm gonna go on a vacation now. Well, not really a vacation, I'm gonna be working every weekend. But that means that Tie Boy Incoming is going to be your winners this week, taking the first place over Real Terror. And that, that's all I got for you guys. That's it. I ran out of games, guys. There's, there's no more. You ran out of tokens. You must go home. Game over.